Hello, it's Patrick, and you're watching Tesla Trip, and welcome to some more Tesla news. Big, big news last night. Tesla unveiled the Supercharger version 3, and it's amazing. We're talking 1,000 miles per hour charging rates, 250 kilowatt, 1 megawatt of power going to the charging stations, no longer sharing stalls. You can park at any Supercharger and get a full charge right away from any of them. The new Supercharger 3.0 cables are really thin, which is pretty interesting. They're using this liquid cooling at the base of the charging station so that they can cool the cable, allow the higher charge rates. Over at the Computer History Museum in San Francisco, they've, they've had these before. They had them in for, I don't know, about six months or so before they took them back out. And they must have been testing. You know, it was kind of like an experiment. Looks like this is going to be the norm. Right now, it's currently just the Model 3s in the early access program at the one beta station. Uh, but yeah, they're talking 75 miles in five minutes. So it's huge. And then there's, there's, there's some immediate stuff that's gonna make some improvements for all Tesla vehicles. They're talking about a mode that's gonna precondition the battery on the way to the supercharger. So when you're using the navigation, it'll know you're going to a supercharger and it'll precondition the battery, it'll warm it up or cool it down to get to the point where it can take a charge as soon as you get there at the peak rate, which is amazing because right now the problem is if you're driving super cold temperatures or even super hot temperatures, once you get to the supercharger, it, it has to take a minute or two to kind of build up to those faster rates because it's got to get the battery pack conditioned to get into a mode where it can accept that full amount of power. The other thing is, is they're unlocking in all the current version 2 superchargers um, going from 120 kilowatt up to 145 kilowatt. So just between that and the preconditioning, they're talking about a 25% increase in speed on all superchargers and Tesla vehicles over the summer here. They're, they're rolling it out you know, in beta mode and or the early access program, and they're going to be pushing it out. Um, to all Model 3s soon and eventually Model S's and X's. They did not really state exactly what the peak rates are going to be for the current Model S and X's. Elon had said in previous earnings calls that there's, there is cutoffs on the chemistry for the battery types and the cooling for the packs. So you're, it's definitely going to be faster on the Model S and X's than current, but it's probably not going to be able to do the 250 that the Model 3s do. And I wouldn't be surprised there's going to be another announcement here soon about, you know, new packs and the Model S and X's that it would explain partly the big price drops to kind of distinguish the current versions in the market versus what they're going to be coming out with that's going to be using new packs. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's, it's highly suspect. Um, <laughs> or maybe, you know, they, they already changed the chemistry in the packs a while ago and they just didn't let people know they've done that in the past anyways thank you guys so much for watching i just wanted to get this out there i am super excited the the idea is that they're going to be you know pushing these out probably more long range and so it's going to be kind of the remote places i'm hoping casper wyoming is going to get one of these new version 3 superchargers i'm talking about hooking them up so that they can connect to a power pack um the large uh scale versions that they have for power companies and that's kind of going to act as you know a buffer for building up that megawatt of power needed you know during peak usage times of superchargers so they can get that full 250 kilowatts per station now in terms of competition they're saying stating they can do 350 kilowatt but correct me if i'm wrong but from what i understand that's for the whole enchilada like the 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 charging unit so if you've got multiple cars connected they're they're sharing that and in this tesla system we're talking about a megawatt for the cars to share so it's that's a huge difference also there's no cars out there that can take the 350 in fact the the max i believe right now anybody's taking is maybe as 100 maybe 150 so the fact that today like basically the most popular long-range ev the tesla model 3 can take 250 kilowatts and you can see it right there, a bunch of people last night that went to the event. A, a thousand miles per hour charge rate. You know, this is under peak conditions under the... It still tapers off. So they're talking like 
cutting charging times in half. So basically, if you're charging up to 80% in a half an hour, it's going to be closer to 15 minutes. They're thinking for an average charge time. And, you know, instead of waiting, you know, the full hour and 15 minutes or so to charge a pack, you're going to be looking at like 45 minutes, half an hour range. So big, big news. Really excited. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. It lets me know you're watching. We're so close to 10,000 subscribers. We're just a like couple hundred away. So you can email me. I'm pat.lawson at wildwestev or on Twitter. I'm at walkingcrow.